that I am not one to say I'm doing my interview, man. <laughs> you see my turbo? What the fuck? All right, so I'm finally back from spring break, which means I can get back to work on the cars. And actually last night when I came home, I arrived to a very special package for the BMW. Now, before I open the package or anything, I'm actually going to go in the garage and pull the E36 out. It's just been sitting there and I miss it. I haven't even seen the car in over a week. And also, I finally have the mic set up pretty much how I want it. I know the audio in the last video was pretty bad, but it should be fixed now. And we can move on, pull the car out, and get to opening this package. I forgot how messy this garage was, but it sure does feel nice seeing this car again. But now we'll see how easy this thing wants to start. It's perfect every time. I have got to hurry up and finish painting this car. I am absolutely in love with this new color. But now let's move on and finally get to opening this package. Okay, so before I open this package, I would like to just say one thing. It was actually given to me by a subscriber out there. He didn't really want to get a shout out or anything, just want to keep it on the down low and just wanted to help me out. And I mean, he just went above and beyond what I could just ever expect anybody to do. And I mean, I would just personally like to give you a huge thanks. I just cannot express how grateful I am for this. It's just, I don't even know what to say. And I mean, really, I'm just hugely just thankful for all of you out there. You're always so nice, always commenting and supporting me, helping me out. And I just, I mean, I would just like to repay that to you in some way, but I guess let's go on and open this package. So it's pretty apparent what this is, so I'm going to open this first and we'll save the best for last. Alright, so this is just the first item that I've opened up so far and I'm already just super excited. I can barely talk, but this is a turbo exhaust manifold and this one in particular is a top mount which just means the turbo goes here on top rather than the bottom and whenever it's installed and everything it should put the turbo right around here instead of back there being tucked up under everything it's just it's a lot simpler having it up here because you have to run your piping from your turbo all the way around and to your throttle body now I'm keeping everything real general because I know a lot of you probably aren't too familiar with turbos or force induction and everything like that and I myself I'm not even too familiar to be perfectly honest. I've never turboed a car, so this is going to be a whole new experience. But this is one of the most crucial parts of any turbo build. You have to have it. I mean, it just simply doesn't work. It's what the turbo mounts to. So this is a very nice piece, and I'm so excited to have it. 
but now we'll move on to the turbo because I'm really anxious. I'm just ready to open. I feel like a kid on Christmas. Okay, so obviously this is the turbo and we all know it's just the star of the show. Now this one's actually pretty sizable, it's a pretty big turbo. I'll go ahead and just put all the specs on the screen and everything so you all can see them. But this is actually pretty nice, it's not a super expensive turbo or anything, but it does have a lot of nice touches. It has a V-Van connection for the downpipe which is really nice and just, I mean overall it's a good turbo. Now it does need an external wastegate which for those of you who aren't familiar, you have to have an external wastegate on your exhaust manifold and this one actually does not have a port for it but it's no biggie because I'm actually going to be running an adapter from here to the turbo which will have a wastegate dump on it so I won't have to do any welding or anything like that and we'll lift the turbo up which I'm really worried about fitting it in here so I'm gonna have to lift it quite a bit so it doesn't hit the valve cover or anything because it I mean it is a pretty big turbo which is hard to fit and I keep saying big turbo so I'm gonna I'm gonna stop saying that now spare all of you but that's the turbo and I'll talk about it more later but I'll just go ahead and open up the remaining boxes which I think are just flanges and stuff like that So yeah, those boxes were completely empty. I opened them up, I was like, what is this? But they were just for packaging. But now I'm gonna pull a seat up, sit down, and I'm gonna tell you all my plans regarding the turbo, the car, everything like that. Okay, so before I say anything, I know a lot of you are really excited about this, but the car will not be getting turboed anytime soon. It'll more than likely be over summer or next semester when I come back from school. And this is just because I am just super broke. As many of you know, I bought the camera, the setup, the mic, everything like that. That costs a lot of money. Then I bought the Miata. And for those of you who don't remember or don't know, you're new to the channel. I actually got a ticket a while back, which was just, I mean, it was completely ridiculous. It was just shitty circumstances. But I got careless and reckless driving. And I found out I went to a court date to extend my court date, which I don't even know what I'm saying here. But... I actually found out that I got a misdemeanor, which I mean, I don't even understand. I'll put a clip from what I did to get the ticket in the thing and you can tell me if it's worthy of a misdemeanor or not. I don't know. <laughs> oh, Austin. But I gotta get a lawyer to fight that, which is just even more money. And I'll wait till this truck goes by. But I gotta spend even more money for that, which who knows how much that's gonna be. It's just money me to death. I've been paying thousands, thousand dollars just here and there. It's just killing me. And on top of that, I'm paying over 500 a month in rent. But just, you get the point. I'm broke, so this is gonna have to wait a bit. But it is going to get turboed and it's gonna be awesome. Now, as far as my plans, now. I'm doing this as cheap as possible just to hopefully influence a lot of you to maybe turbo your car. I'm doing it simple as can be. There's going to be no tune. Just eBay parts. It's just going to be just the simplest of simple. And I am not one to say I'm, I'm doing my interview, man. <laughs> you see my turbo? What the fuck? Okay, so back to what I was saying. I am never one to act like I am a know-it-all, I make a ton of mistakes and I just sort of go and do things, learn from my mistakes and this is especially true for forced induction and everything. I have never owned a turbo car, I've never even worked on a turbo car so I'm pretty much a complete novice. 
Now, I know a little bit, which I mean, it's just all from looking up stuff online, just the basics of it, and I'm pretty confident I can get it done. But what this means is if I can do it, pretty much anybody can do it. I know a lot of you out there are probably in the same boat. You never really worked on it, but you've read up, you learned things online. But that being said, I'm going to do this pretty much as simple and cheap as possible. And I'm 90% sure that it's going to work out fine. It's not going to blow up or anything. But how I'm going to do it is, as I said, no tune, but I am going to use a fuel management unit I believe that's what the acronym stands for and FMU they're really cheap you can get them for 50 to 100 dollars and they pretty much work just to squirt more fuel in there by PSI it's just real basic kind of barbaric but it'll work and get the job done they're pretty reliable when you're running low boost and as far as boost is concerned I'm going to probably start the car off on two or three PSI it's just very low it can't really lean out too much it's pretty safe with the FMU it should have no problem running that and be completely safe not detonate or anything like that and then if everything goes well I will probably bump it up to five and six and leave it there now this is not going to add that much horsepower or anything like that but it will get the car choo-chooing making noises going fast but it will be the basis if I ever want to go for more power everything will be there I can upgrade it go fuel management do everything and then I could go for higher horsepower numbers but this will get the car turboed for cheap and simple and if I can do it any of you can do it but those are my plans and I just wanted to keep it pretty simple I didn't want to go too in depth because I didn't want to bore you all but if you have any questions about it feel free to ask and also if you have any tips or advice about turboing an E36 anything like that let me know I know there's a lot of you that are pretty experienced with that sort of thing and I'm a complete novice so every little thing helps and I also just hope a lot of you are excited about this you guys are always asking for it, telling me to turbo the E36 and everything and I'm finally getting around to it which it will take a while a few months just because I have to buy all the little pieces which pretty much is just intercooler wastegate blow off valve and make a downpipe and just a few other small things it's just there's not much to it but moving on as far as the channel is concerned I'm back here in Greenville which means I can get back to working on the cars I know I've been slow the past week or so because I was getting married which thanks to all of you who wish me congratulations and everything it made me really happy but now I'm back I can get back to putting out content and everything and I'm actually going to be taking the Miata to its first event this weekend it is an autocross I know a lot of you want to see drift you don't care about autocross but it's more content and should make for a nice video and I'm actually trying to get the e36 to an event now i don't really go to them because the nearest one is over three hours away which i'd had to drive three hours there run the car hope it does not break and then three hours back which just really sketches me out and plus it's 50 dollars for all day and then killing used tires that i'm paying 20 30 dollars a piece it just adds up it's just a really expensive trip which is why I don't really run events but I'm trying to get there I know you want to see them so I'm trying to make it happen but next as far as the BMW goes I'm going to be pulling the diff out and getting it ready for the new one which should make for some nice videos so I hope you all are excited for that but now I'll move on I'm getting long-winded and talking a bunch but let me know what you all think if you're excited just anything you feel like saying but until then Mm-hmm.